Okay, folks, this is something I'd find absolutely useless due to my disability. Uh, so I wouldn't be able to um, succeed at it, even though I've tried it before and it's no good, it's pointless. And my the brain damage I had at birth seems to be more pronounced because of my age. The old saying, the cognitive decline, uh, it's not an easy thing to deal with. Um, let's see how we go with it. Okay, let's see what this is. It is Careers and Lifestyle Course Guide. So yeah, Northern Beaches and Mossman College. Yeah, I'm not good at learning, folks. I can't do courses very well. I just feel like when I try to absorb information, it won't go in. And when I try to retain it, whatever I've absorbed gets comes out like a sieve. So it's really quite annoying feeling that sense that you just can't absorb information or or retain it and I'm really trying to focus on what I can do and that is being a photocopier artist and trying to get on the six o'clock news to get recognized so that the disability that I have is no longer a problem no longer an issue because I, I don't need to concentrate on what I can't do and that's come up looking quite nice I think we can work with that so I'm trying to get on the six o'clock news and it's really proven to be really easier said than done but I don't believe in courses because courses are too difficult they re require you to learn one of the hard ways of learning for me is theory trying to learn theory like learning from books and trying to retain what you learn from a fucking book and or off the blackboard or the whiteboard and basically um, trying to uh, take notes, listen to the teacher and and look at her writing on him or her writing on the board. I just can't do that. I can't multitask like that. So I can't retain or absorb information that way. The classroom is indeed an, a um, horrible place for a person like myself. Uh, it's really got no place in my world. I don't feel at all empowered by it. But I need the 6 o'clock news, I need Channel 9 to help me out. I don't want to be, the costs of living are going up really hard and I can't afford it. Being on a disability pension and being um, working in an Australian disability enterprise because I can't work in a normal job, I, at least there I, 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 I don't have to struggle against normal people. But I don't want to have to be on in that place forever because it's really no fun doing menial tasks. I do believe I might have high-functioning autism as well, or what they called uh, Asperger's syndrome, which is the high-functioning parts of my brain and the low-functioning parts can be put down to a cord around my neck in a breech position when I was born. So had a had oxygen zipped from my breathing and I probably went I probably had a near-death experience for all I know don't quote me folks but I, I fuck so I wouldn't be surprised if I it was quite a nasty traumatic birth according to my mum so she told me about this and I just put two and two together when I look up the issue look up about caught around my neck in a breech birth or should I say anoxia no oxygen at birth so it was really horrible would have been a horrible way unfortunately I've forgotten about it but it would have been a horrible situation to be in as a bubby um, but you know I survived and I'm a real tough little survivor folks so But when you, when you find yourself in a situation of survival, you have no choice but to fucking fight it. You know, folks, I wasn't ready to go yet, but I'm still going to go on 
and that's come up looking quite a treat. I think we can now call this demo quits.